Hi, Dr. Goldberg. Continuing our internal medicine lecture series today, we're talking about diuretics, types, effects, side effects, that type of thing. So there's basically five groups of diuretics that we use. Uh, number one, the loop diuretics such as furosemide, uh, torsemide, bumetanamide, and ethacrinic acid. Ethacrinic acid doesn't have any sulfa in it, so it can be helpful for people who have bad sulfa uh, reactions. Uh, the thiazide diuretics are next. They act on the distal tubule. Um, they decrease preload and are vasodilators. So these include hydrochlorothiazide, chlorothalidone, and metalazone. Uh, the next uh, grouping is the carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. They work on the proximal tubule uh, to retain bicarb and potassium in the urine and excrete sodium. So uh, diamox is obviously the uh, one we use most commonly. The fourth group is potassium sparing diuretics. These include, these are aldosterone receptor antagonists like spermatolactone, and then the sodium channel blocker, uh, triamterine and amylaride. So those are, uh, and that's the fourth group. The fifth, osmotic diuretics like mannitol. We don't use as much in clinical practice, but certainly it's used in uh, central nervous system, head injuries, that type of thing. So in terms of uh, Adverse reactions to diuretics, I think you need to know uh, a little about the adverse reactions just to summarize. So the loop diuretics like Lasix or furosemide can cause hypovolemia, hypopotassium, you know, low potassium levels, low sodium level, low magnesium levels, metabolic alkalosis, hyperuricemia, uh, muscle cramps, and generalized weakness as well as central nervous system problems uh, and arrhythmias. The thiazide diuretics like uh, hydrochlorothiazide can cause, again, hypovolemia, low potassium, low sodium, metabolic acidosis, I'm sorry, alkalosis, hypercalcemia, hyperuricemia, uh, muscle cramps, weakness, CNS symptoms, arrhythmias, gout, uh, and, uh, again, decreased calcium excretion. The uh, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors cause metabolic acidosis, low potassium, muscle cramps, weakness, CNS symptoms, and arrhythmias as well. And finally, the potassium sparing diuretics can cause hyperkalemia, metabolic acidosis, and then spironolactone <clears throat> can cause anti-testosterone effects, muscle cramps, uh, weakness, CNS symptoms, and arrhythmias. So even though these meds are used uh, avidly in our patient population panels for various uh, uh, issues, Watch out for these adverse reactions. They're real, and you always got to be aware of them. Uh, thanks, Dr. Goldberg, for signing off.